Welcome to part one of the GoPixel first time user video series. This first time user video will help you get started using GoPixel on a G2000 series line profile sensor. We provide you with the steps to use the software preloaded on the sensor. To get the most out of today's video, download the following files to be able to follow along with the steps below. Upgrading your sensor to GoPixel. Upgrading your sensor to GoPixel is the same process as upgrading to an updated firmware version. Once complete, you can revert back to GoKitter Classic by following these same steps in GoPixel. If this is your first time connecting to a GoKitter sensor to your PC, please see the first time user guide for Windows and Mac OS settings. First, download the gopixel.dat file specific to your sensor model. Connect your sensor through a browser window using default IP address 192.168.1.10. Navigate to the Manage page. Click on the Maintenance panel. Click Upgrade. Select the DAT file specific to your sensor model that you have previously downloaded. Wait for the firmware to upgrade and interface to reload. GoPixel will refresh within the same browser window. Accessing GoPixel on sensor. GoPixel can be accessed directly on your sensor using a web browser. In the next section, we show you how to run a sensor through a GoPixel instance on PC. However, if you want to access your sensor quickly and directly, please follow these steps. 1. Ensure your G2000 series sensor is powered on and the Ethernet cord set is connected to your computer. Open a web browser window. Enter the sensor IP address. The default sensor IP address is 192.168. .1.10. Leave this window or tab open for now. Starting a GoPixel instance through GoPixel Manager. GoPixel doesn't just run on your sensor, but you can also run a GoPixel instance on your PC through GoPixel Manager. GoPixel Manager lets you create, launch, and manage GoPixel PC instances, which provide sensor acceleration, or let you evaluate scan data or configure tools offline. You can also launch the discovery tool from GoPixel Manager to find all sensors and PC instances visible on the network. If you run the GoPixel X64 shortcut inside the software user tools download package, this will open an instance of GoPixel in a web browser as well as launch GoPixel Manager. First, we opened the downloaded folder Software GoPixel User Tools, then we ran GoPixel X64 by double-clicking the shortcut. This will run GoPixel Manager in the system tray. To open the GoPixel Manager window, click on the GoPixel Manager icon in the Windows taskbar or system tray. In the GoPixel Manager window, you can see the running instance or instances of GoPixel in the local GoPixel instance table. Click the Discover Instances button to see more details about existing instances. You can run multiple instances of GoPixel on PC if desired from the GoPixel Manager window. This will allow you to run multiple inspection windows simultaneously, each with their own tools and jobs. To run an additional instance of GoPixel, click Add. Enter a title and IP address for this instance to keep yourself organized. Click OK. Highlight the new instance, click Start, and then click Launch to open this new instance in a browser window. To remove this newly created GoPixel instance, close the browser window containing the newly created GoPixel instance. Highlight the new GoPixel instance in the local GoPixel instance table, click Stop, and click Delete. 
connecting your G2000 sensor to a GoPixel instance on PC. This is not required if you have directly accessed your sensor through a web browser. However, we want to walk you through this connection because this step is equivalent to accelerating a sensor in GoCater Classic. After connection, processing is boosted by your PC instead of relying on sensor hardware alone. After the following steps, you will notice that this page will be redirected to a different IP address. Under the system category, on the far left side of the GUI, click on the discover page. You will see your sensor listed in the panel. Confirm you are connecting the correct sensor by confirming the serial number here matches the sticker on the sensor housing. You cannot connect the PC instance of GoPixel to your sensor if the PC and sensor are not the same version. If your sensor is connected to the network, but not shown as available, ensure that you are running the same version of GoPixel on your sensor as your PC. To check your sensor hardware version, open a web browser to the default sensor address. Also make sure that the sensor is not running, otherwise the status will be shown as in use or unconnectable and you will not be able to connect it. Navigate to the design page by clicking on the title in the column. Click add new sensor. In the scan engine dropdown menu, select GoCater laser profiler. You can input a sensor group name in the field name if desired. Click the add box of the sensor or sensors you want to add. If you have more than one sensor, you can enable manage sensor group layout. Click add sensor. Your sensor will show up as connected. Navigate to the discover page. Note that the sensor you added is now showing in use. Switch to the original browser tab that with GoPixel GUI running on sensor, Notice how after connecting a sensor to the PC instance that this tab explains the sensor is controlled by another instance. Save your settings as a new job. Open the job menu and click Save As to save a new job. Enter a title and click Save. Navigate to the Jobs page. Select the newly created job by clicking on it. Download the saved job to your computer by clicking on the download job file icon. Navigating the GoPixel GUI. At this point, you should have a browser window open with an instance of GoPixel. We will walk through a quick overview of functions and button locations, as well as major changes from GoCater Classic in case you are a fluent user. Categories and pages under them are located in a column on the left side of the GUI. This is called the nav bar. Hover over the nav bar to expand it and click on the open arrow at the bottom of the column to keep it open. The manage category contains settings for your sensor system, maintenance, and file downloads. Settings page contains network settings. Jobs page contains saved jobs and allows you to manage them here. Maintenance page contains versions, backup, and restore functions, as well as factory restore. The support page contains the ability to save a support file .gpsup. Users of GoCater Classic will be familiar with support files. A major difference from GoCater Classic is that the motion system speed settings and encoder resolution have been moved down to the system category. The system category is where you can add or combine sensors to create a sensor group, set up alignment, and coordinate motion system movement and encoder settings. The design page is where you can connect a sensor to the PC instance and, if you have multiple sensors, optionally combine multiple sensors into a group. A sensor group is a device container that consists of a single sensor or multiple sensors of the same family. Sensor grouping incorporates the functionality of what was called buddying in Classic, which you accomplish in GoPixel by adding more than one device to a group. 
The Discover page is where you can view all available devices on the network and ones added to your system. The Alignment page is where you can perform alignment using the new Alignment Wizard, as well as adjust the transformation values for all sensors connected to your PC instance. Multi-sensor alignment is a key feature for G2000 series sensors. The alignment page also contains transport system speed synchronization, encoder resolution, and other motion and integration settings. The inspect category contains settings for scan mode, trigger source, and detailed sensor configuration. In a multi-sensor system, you can adjust multiple sensors from this page. The scan page controls your global scan settings, meaning if you have multiple sensors, this controls all sensors together as a single sensor group system. Sensor group properties by their nature would have to apply to all sensors in a group. For example, you cannot have one sensor in profile scan mode and another in surface scan mode. We dive deeper into the scan page in the next first time user video, aligning your sensor and acquiring a surface scan using GoPixel. The inspect category also contains the tools page. We will walk through a sample exercise of combining three measurement tools in another video, introduction to three measurement tools. The control category is where you control your device outputs. This used to be the output page in GoCater Classic. The GoCater page configures the GoCater protocol used to interact with the SDK. The industrial page controls your industrial output protocols, such as Ethernet IP, Modbus, ASCII, and more. The HMI page controls GoHMI. We dive deeper into this in a separate GoHMI Connect walkthrough video. The report category contains the same functions that the dashboard category has in Classic. The health page shows the system and sensor group real-time running information. The measurements page reports measurement tool data. The performance page reports performance times in milliseconds. GoPixel file formats. This table lists the new GoPixel file types compared to the GoCater Classic software equivalent and provides a brief description of each file type. Note that GoPixel file formats are not compatible with GoCater Classic except for importing older .rec images into GoPixel. For further assistance, please contact support at lmi3d.com. Thank you for watching.